Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, I am going to explain about concentric mate which comes under standard mates. So I am going to show you for cylindrical as well as conical features and different options in concentric mate. So I have taken assembly and I am going to insert one bolt. So along with the nut, so I am going to show you how to use this concentric mate in standard mates see here we can see two circles icon this is concentric we have to click this and we have to select cylindrical surface see these two are cylindrical so it automatically gets into the whole feature see here so we can move up and down and we can ro rotate see we can see as if it is a bolt is moving inside with a threaded feature see this is basic about uh, concentric feature going to hide this so I am going to insert the same bolt once again to show one more option so we have to go to mate and we have to select the concentric select this two cylindrical faces here we can see on the graphical window the this is top up menu see the lock rotation as well as we can see here left side lock rotation so we have to select this lock rotation so what is the use of this when we use any component with a press fit then it doesn't move once it goes into the hole then it doesn't rotate see here it's not rotating so that is the advantage of the lock rotation see instead of uh, constraining with the uh, plane usually in uh, older version we used to constrain with the uh, plane to lock the rotation so we have the simply the lock rotation option to arrest the rotational movement so that is the advantage So I am going to hide uh, these three components. So I am going to show a few more options. I am going to insert same bolt here. See. So I am going to change the orientation. See here. If I select uh, this cylindrical face and this edge see what is going to happen so it is taking the concentric so earlier condition we have selected two cylindrical surfaces one is from the hole and one is from the shaft now in this condition I have taken one surface this surface and this edge so once again I am going to insert bolt see here rotate this
see what happens if I select a concentric mate and uh, these two edges see this edge and this edge so it is taken so for concentric uh, we have three conditions for cylindrical features one is face to face second is edge to face third is edge to edge that is circular so i am going to insert one conical shaft or conical feature so what happens to this so i am going to select concentric mate and select these two faces see here i am going to show you the cross section see here it is exactly matching to the inner surface so we can use this concentric mate for conical shape also see here so here also instead of uh, surface to surface we can use the circular edge see here and concentrate this edge to the this edge circular edge see, see what happens if i select this conical face and this conical face this is a conical face you can see the taper in the hole so if i select this two and directly goes to the mate so what is it's taking it it's taking the coincidence so we should not select the two faces and directly go to the mate condition if you want concentric for conical face see it doesn't move at all see here exactly meets to the point see here so this is a brief about concentric mate for uh, cylindrical features and conical features thanks for watching